What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Key to the City, and I'm back with another banger! <laughs> you already know, man. It's your boy, Key to the City, bro. We back. We back with another banger. Back with another video. Back with another <clears throat> a lot of stuff. I'm just going to calm down. Your boy is very excited, man. I'm very excited. As you can tell, I kind of just woke up, man. Like I said, they've been working us like slaves. But, man... Before we get into this video, before we get into this video, <clears throat> I want to say just having a good day out there. That you all are going for those dreams that you're aspiring to achieve in life. And I want to take a moment to thank all of my subscribers for actually taking the time of their day to watch my channel. And I understand life is hard, but we're going to take a moment all our lives to just not focus on our hard life is to just kind of just enjoy ourselves and enjoy the fruits of our labor. So, first thing first, hit the subscribe button if you're new. If you like the video, hit the like. But man, I got a package for you all. If you a sneakerhead, if you a person who just love their sneakers, if you just, let's say, if you love your shoes, like I love these Court Purple 13s, Love them. Glad I got them. First ever raffle win. Shoes are just important to you. Or your first ever double ups. The other pair is at, other pair is at another location, but I still have them. You just love that. You love your sneakers. You know, sneakers that are that show legendary days to us. You know, days we never will forget. Like for instance, my first ever fours, my first ever double ups. My 13s, my first ever raffles. And then, you know, you just constantly, you constantly working to just strive to be better. And then, you get a chance to actually get your grills. Your grills in life. Shoes you really just never thought you would actually get in your collection. Your grills. I love them, you know. You just got shoes you just love. Shoes you just love to wear, you know, just express yourself. You know, make... Make memorable days in your life. You know, shoes don't last forever. But you get a chance to actually just express yourself. If you if you like things like that, I got something for you. Every sneakerhead, I feel like, should have this right here in their collection. And I'm going to show you how you can get this in your collection. And how you can get it for a reasonable price in your collection. Oh, yeah. This unboxing. You going this unboxing, bro? So you can't you can't have you can't have your grills and you know your first ever raffle win and your first ever double ups. What I have in this right here, thumbnail. All right. So obviously, if you are if you love your shoes, you gotta have this particular product right here, and I'm gonna show you how to get it. Sit it down. I don't want to cut into it. So you know, if you a sneakerhead, you need this product. And I'm gonna show you how you can get this product. But you all see it first. There's nothing else but the Soul Premise bag, my friend. Soul Premise. Soul Premise. You need you one of these in your collection. Especially if you're traveling. You don't want to get on an airplane. You don't want to keep your prized possessions underneath the plane. You're getting beat all up. Creased up. You got to have a Soul Premise bag. <laughs> And yes, I'm going to show you all how you can get this particular bag for lower than retail. Ooh. Get out of there. Ooh. Boy, 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 boy. First ever sold premise bag. 
Soulpremise.com. We don't just secure the bag. We secure the shoes. You heard? We don't just secure the bag. We secure the shoes. Soul premise. So, man, I'm going to go ahead and tell you how much I paid for this bag. All right, so they say it's only like 100 of these or 150 of these made. I don't know how true that is, but I'll tell you right now, there's some nice premium, premium, and I do mean premium level. So premium. <laughs> go get you one. All right, so, but for real, though, I'm going to tell you how much this bag costs. Like, this bag, uh, it, it was on sale. You know, obviously, I'm cheap. I always preach, say your money. It was, uh, like, 189 or 194 you know? But after I used discount codes, I got this bag down to one sixteen ninety nine after shipping and everything. So, that's how I'm going to tell you. So, if you want this particular bag, what you want to do, you want to obviously, like, you always want to wait, because wait, they always offering coupon codes, either 35% off, 40% off. But in my case, I happen to get like 45% off. So I think this bag, it knocked off $76. But yeah, man. So I wanted to get the duffel bag too, but I just wasn't sure if it was a quality bag. So I was like, you know, I'll take a chance on one and see. Everybody on YouTube, every YouTuber now is obviously talking about soul premise, soul premise, soul premise. So I had to see it for myself. Looks pretty sturdy. I will say it does look pretty sturdy. Doesn't look like it made cheap at all. Doesn't look like it's made cheap at all. And I know most bags, they normally tear right here. And they're like, they, they actually stitched that in pretty good. They triple stitched it. I love it. All the way up here. Like they, they like they did their thing on this bag. But nevertheless, we're gonna get right into it. Obviously, when you're spending $116 on a bag, just think about that. You're spending $116 on a bag. What everyday working person is spending $116 on a bag? Just think about it. Not too many people. Most people probably pay $80 for a bag, depending on what it is. Now, if you're rich, yeah, Louis Vuitton. Gucci, Prada, all that. Yeah, you paying that. That's a nice little zip. So, it says this bag, this is a commuter bag, too. It's just, uh sole premise commuter bag. It's probably the smallest backpack they have. But it says it's supposed to hit anywhere from, what, three to four pair of sneakers or five? But it's obviously the XL, if you know. I wear a size 14 in shoe. Shout out, Big Foot Gang. But, yeah, man. But to get into it, we're about to see if we can put some of my shoes in here. Cause it doesn't mean nothing to me if your boy can't put his shoes in there. So, there we go. We're going to get this bad boy shot. So, it's like I can put two. Move this camera down right here. Yeah, so it, like, it looks like I can actually put two pair of shoes here. How I'm going to do that, we're going to find out. So... Gonna go Thunder Fours. Okay. I don't see how that's gonna work. Hold up. I gotta, oh, that's probably why. Okay, that makes sense, man. I got you. Lay this bag down, cause like I say. If I can't put my shoes in it, it doesn't mean nothing. What? Give me a minute, and we'll get back with you after I put these shoes in here so I can teach you all the best way of putting them in. All right, so we back, and I found out how to put them in with the sole premise commuter bag. Now, I will say one thing. This bag, it's a nice premium bag. I will give you credit. But when it comes down, I don't know about a three- the four pair of shoes in the commuter bag. Maybe that should have been the extra large bag. But I thought this, this is an extra large bag, but it should have been the other one. I can't think of it. I'll put it up in the corner. But let me just show you how we do it. So I put two pair in here. I put two pair in here. I put my obvious, I put my Hummus to Home ones, my grills. Then I put 
the Thunder Fours right here. Now, if I really wanted to, I could put another one right here. But me personally, I don't want to really just stretch out the bag, as you can see. I don't really want to stretch out the bag. So if it was me, I'd probably put like a pair of slides right here. But I think it is good for three pair of shoes. There you go. I think it is good for three pair of shoes. Just two in the bag and one on your feet. I think it's for. I think it's great for that. Now I'm not. I'm not the type of person that really trying to carry five pair of shoes. I would personally probably use uh, the the larger bag. I can't think of the name of that bag because I was I was so stuck on the commuter bag. I, I wanted this one. I don't want every bag in the line. I'm not doing all that traveling. But yes, I, it it works good as you can see. It works good. A two pair. Now it says it's supposed to hold up to size 14 and 15. Brother, I would say if you wear a 15, do not go get this bag. Because I wear a 14, bro. And I say it's kind of little, it's just a little room left. Like it's snug. It's pretty snug. But it's gonna do what it's gonna do. And I guess over time with me wearing it and actually using the bag, it's gonna work out real nice. So that's that. Now, obviously, how do I feel about sole premise? <clears throat> the bag itself is good. The bag itself is good. I hands down. Like you can also put your laptop right here. You have other compartments, but you know, you have other compartments. Now, you know, obviously I'm using I'm only gonna put two pairs of sneakers in there. Two pairs of sneakers. Now if you in if you wear any shoe under like you wear a 13, you'd probably be more comfortable putting all three in there. Or a 12, you might be comfortable putting all three in there. But me personally, I'm going to actually say, I'm rocking two pair of shoes, and I'm going to use the rest of the bag as if it was a regular bag. So I'm going to put like other essentials in there. Like I might put my charger, my charger right up in here, just a regular pocket, my iPad, my charging block, all of that, you know, my wallet if I'm on the plane or whatever, I might throw the wallet in there. And I'm just going to use it as a regular bag. You can put your laptop right here. You know, just use it as a regular bag. And then what a lot of people don't understand, I don't know. You have another a compartment back here. You just slide whatever you want to slide. You probably slide your laptop back here. But all in all, how do I feel about... I do recommend the Soul Premise bag. Let me slide right here. I do recommend the Soul Premise bag because you got to give them credit. Because before them, was no one else out here doing this. Uh, they actually designed it and they actually pushed the envelope. So they actually put their money and believed in, went out on faith. Like I said, I always chase your dream. But yes, man, Soul Premise Bag, for me, it's a premium luxury bag. Soul Premise, just sound luxury. And I'm <clears throat> most definitely gonna get that duffel bag. I think, comment below if you think your boy need to get the matching duffel bag, man. Yeah, man, but yeah, I, I, nevertheless, I do recommend this Soul Premise bag. Shout out to Soul Premise. This is not sponsored by Soul Premise, but shout out to you all for that discount code you gave me. And I was able to use and knock off $76 on this bag. Oh, yeah, like I said, when it comes to these bags, bro, like you want to buy them when they have discount codes. They don't they always have discount codes, but some of them are better than others. So if you know you're going to go on vacation in like around November, like just start looking for that code. But in the meantime, save your money to the side. And go with that. Or if you want to, you can go with Afterpay. I think they had something that had to do with Afterpay. So you can do that too. Just pay the four payments, pay it all. I mean, hey, it's all about how bad you want the bag. And I know they only make certain amounts at certain times. So like I said, they only made like 100 to 150 of these. So I like that blue color. Smooth love. Great bag. It's your boy, Key to City. Help me, help you, help me. Hey, and we out.